before switching on the machine. Check that the chemicals connected to the machine have adequate levels. If the chemical bottles are below a quarter, change and decant the remainder of the chemicals into the new bottle once the level comes down. Always remember to use the appropriate PPE equipment when handling chemicals. The rinse aid has a coloured tubing. The detergent has a clear transparent tubing. Be aware not to get these mixed up. Next, make sure the machine has all components fitted. Check the wash pump filter is correctly fitted and drain plug is in situ if applicable to your model. Then ensure the surface scrap trays are also located. We now need to replace the upper and lower wash and rinse arm assembly. Replace the upper and lower wash arms by tightening the thumb nut clockwise to secure in place. Put the lower wash arm and upper wash arm into the machine. Now all the machine's components are into position, we're ready to switch it on. First of all, check if the water supply to the machine is switched on and is not obstructed. Turn on the mains electricity supply to the machine via the external isolator. The machine will perform self-diagnostics. Close the door once the display shows dashes. Press the main power button to turn on for the day. The machine will take approximately 20 minutes to fill. Depending on power and water connected, the machine will display tank and boiler temperatures throughout the filling process. The LED progress bar will scroll from the top downwards, indicating that the wash tank isn't at the program temperature. If your machine has an internal water softener and displays the message SLT during the filling process or at any other point during service, then this indicates issues that need to be addressed by the end user. Or if the REG message is shown, this indicates that the machine is carrying out a regeneration process. If this is the case, there is no input needed by the end user. You can continue to operate cycles whilst this message is displayed. Wait for the dot to stop flashing and the fourth LED light on the progress bar is illuminated. The machine is now full, up to temperature and ready to run cycles. We have a power button on the display, a cycle select button, a progress bar and a start button. The progress bar will run from top to bottom to indicate the wash tank is not fully up to temperature. If your machine has an error, it'll be displayed by an E followed by numbers. Turn the machine off and back on. Contact your supplier for further advice if the error code still appears when switching the machine back on. Going through the cycles available for this machine. PR1 is a very short cycle, designed for lightly soiled or lightly dusted glassware. PR2 is your standard general cycle used most of the time. Perfect for lightly soiled glassware that has just been used. We have a long cycle, which runs for approximately 7 minutes. Then we have a cleaning cycle, which we highly recommend to be used at the end of the day to finally drain the machine down. This will run for approximately 10 minutes. Finally, we have a DR program, which is a partial self-clean and quick drain cycle. Performing a wash cycle. Open the door of the machine. Here we have an already loaded basket, which will need emptying and pre-rinsing prior to being loaded into the machine. Please note, any liquid left remaining in the glasses must be emptied into the sink and not the machine prior to the basket being loaded. Lemon slices and cocktail stick must be discarded and any lipstick marks manually removed. This will help prevent false error codes and poor wash results. Please note, the basket must be loaded correctly to ensure all items within will wash properly. We then push it into the machine and close the door and select the appropriate cycle. For general washing, press the cycle select button until PR2 is shown. Then push the start button to initiate the washing cycle. The progress bar will build from the bottom to the top, showing the cycle progress. When the display shows the message end, open the door, remove the basket and place the basket somewhere safe. Allow the items to completely dry out, ready for reuse. Please note, never towel dry, as this can contaminate your glassware and lead to poor wash results. Keep the machine door closed during operational service to avoid the temperature reducing and wasting energy. To visualize the machine's temperature or cycle counter, push and hold the cycle select button. It'll show tank. 
boiler, then a cycle counter. End of day or end of service. To change the water in the tank halfway through the day, we can select the drain cycle using the cycle select button. Then push the start button to initiate the program selected. This is a very quick draining cycle, which includes a partial clean and will allow the machine to drain down and give the cabinet a rinse. For machines with a drain plug, you need to first select the DRA cycle, then open the door and remove the drain plug, then close the door and press the start button. The partial self-clean cycle will be complete when the display shows dashes. At the end of the day, select CLE and press start. The cleaning cycle will drain. Run the wash pump, drain, rinse and finally drain. This self-clean cycle takes around 10 to 15 minutes. The self-clean cycle is completed once the dashes are displayed. For machines with a fitted drain plug, please repeat the DRA cycle at the end of each day. Open the door. Remove lower and upper wash and rinse arm assemblies. Push any debris that's caught in the jets and rinse them out thoroughly. Next, we will need to remove the internal scrap trays whilst ensuring not to spill any debris collected back into the tank. Now remove the drain plug if fitted. Then remove the wash pump filter by pulling it to the front corner of the wash tank to dislocate easily from the machine. Clean all components that have been removed and wipe the wash tank surface to remove any debris using a non-abrasive sponge or paper towel. Now we reassemble the machine. First, your clean filter. If your machine has a drain plug, this will also need to be refitted. Then refit the surface scrap trays. Finally, we need to replace the upper and lower wash arm. When you're finished putting the machine back together, always leave the door open overnight to allow the chamber to dry. If your dishwasher has an internal water softener and displays the message salt, it requires salt for the regeneration of the internal water softener. Open the door of the machine. Remove upper and lower wash and rinse arm assemblies and scrap trays. Remove the salt cap located on the left-hand corner of the machine. You will need 750 grams of granular salt. You will require three jugs filled to the 250cc mark to fill up the water softener using the funnel. Decant three jugs of salt into the softener to fill it up completely. Remove any salt which is left resting on the surface. Refit the salt cap, being careful not to over tighten. Refit all components back in their place after having topped up the salt in the reservoir and put the machine into a self-cleaning cycle. Select the CLE cycle using the Cycle Select button and press the Start button. The dashes will show when the cycle is finished. For more information, please refer to the user manual provided with the machine or contact your supplier.